Welcome to Sir Frederick's shaft. This is at Will Bassett Mine, and uh, I'm sorry about the light pollution, folks. It's a bit difficult. But that's looking down the, the brick-lined shaft. Uh, I'll just uh, pan across. Bear with me a minute, folks. So this is the actual shaft right here at the Great Wheel Bassett Mine. Now this engine house, which I'll just... Uh, it's difficult to see where I'm going, folks. <laughs> this engine house is very unique, being in the fact that this engine was massive, as you can... I don't know if you can see that or not. We'll just get the extra camera in a minute, the extra light. There we go. We're looking through now. This is this is part of the building here, and uh, oops, just shine the cam, shine that up, so it gives you an idea. There's the arch. Look, can you see that? All the way, it goes all the way up to the ridge right up there. Look, so you can look right through. There's the lights from in the distance there, folks. Uh, the engine was a horizontal engine, very unusual. I think it was made at Harveys of Hale, and uh, it it was very, very unique engine. I think it was the only engine like this in Cornwall, and there was a the bob in this one was damaged, and there was one that was cast from another foundry up in England, and uh, it was brought here. There is pictures on the internet of this. And uh, the Wonder House would be just over there. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't see that. We'll, we'll, we'll just walk to where the chimney is <coughs> and the uh, boiler house. I think these were Cornish boilers in here, which are, of course, Cornish boilers are one tube, which goes straight through. We're just walking to the uh, former boiler house. And we'll walk inside the boiler house. One second, folks. The night vision doesn't seem very good right here. I don't know why that is. Now, there was a, a massive amount of boilers in here, which, because uh, here we are, folks. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see that or no, but there's a window. It's, it's difficult, it's difficult. But um, that's the boiler wall there. This is the chimney right here, which goes all the way up. I don't know if we can see up to the top. Yes, we can just about, but it's a bit difficult because it's dark. <coughs> so, the chimney, which is right here. Now, everybody knows what a chimney is for. A chimney is for draft. The higher the chimney, the more draft on your fire. Obviously, this was connected directly to the boilers, and of course, that would have created more um, fire and, and of course then more steam and if you had more steam on hand then you could make your steam engine work really well indeed. There's an entrance here into the boiler house and uh, I think that's very nice indeed. Lovely bit of Cornish granite there folks and uh, we're just, there's another entrance here look from outside because I know there's a flight of steps in behind there on the opposite side uh, so this is a very special place very lovely indeed so the winder now i would have preferred to have been a winder and uh, of course the winding man there probably would have been two chaps in here in charge of the horizontal steam winder and on this site here on this building here there is remains of the grease and oil from the wire rope you can just I don't know if you can see that or no, but you can just see the ghost of the oil right there. So the wire rope would have went in through there, and they would have greased that annually, folks, which I think is amazing, absolutely amazing. So, there's looking back at the engine, and uh, that was the pumping engine that was, folks. And, of course, that engine would have worked 24 hours a day, non-stop, because, as I say over at Eastpool Mine, um, 
If the, if, the, if this engine here stopped, then that would endanger the men in the shaft because it wouldn't be long before the water in the shaft would come up and endanger the men working. So this here would have worked 24 hours a day non-stop. And of course the guys that were in this boiler house, they would have been on a, a shift pattern 24 hours a day non-stop. And I dare say those chaps would have had a sweat on because I've been shoveling coal in Kilmerston and it makes me sweat like a pig, I tell you. So, you know, good, good on you chaps. I hope you are in peace wherever you are. God bless you all. So this mine was owned by Lord Bassett de Dunstanville. He was the mine captain here. And uh, of course he was quite well to do, as we all know. So, we're now walking back to the dry this is where the miners would have got washed and changed and I believe this dry here was quite posh indeed very posh in the grand scheme of things of course because obviously when you've done a day's work underground you would be covered in shit basically so you need to get washed and changed so this is the change house right here and uh, it's got lovely look at those arches aren't they amazing hey look at that isn't that amazing? I just love Cornish buildings. So, this is a, I should imagine this would have had a roof on it uh, until, well, quite late, quite late. But uh, magic, isn't it? Magic folks. There you go. So Lord Bassett did Dunstanville Mine. Now this wire rope here, I've been told from a reliable source that this is the wire rope that was worked at this mine it came from here and after all these years look it's still in good order you know that would take a lot of weight that would bloody hell like you know it's amazing amazing right folks so that's the end of my explore here tonight I'm now going to head back to base and upload these videos to YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed my couple of videos that I've done tonight. Um, I can't always get out to do videos because I've got to, got to work and uh, of course we all know that I volunteer at, whoops, excuse me, at the Houston Railway. And uh, if you're in Cornwall on holiday, why don't you pop down? Uh, we're running um, very soon now a kid for a quid and uh, the engine is Kilmerston if you didn't know that already it's a 040 packet and it's a lovely engine I, I've enjoyed every minute of being part of the railway it's fantastic and of course the grand plan is to relay the whole track put it back to from Gwynion Road to Halston but we're not going to get all the way into Halston I think we're going to get to uh, Watermead Trout Industrial Estate which is very very going to be brilliant to be honest i'm really proud to be a part of it and an active volunteer i'm not down there every day but uh, i do enjoy playing my part anyway folks don't forget to like and if you want to comment if you want to know anything more about cornish mines comment because i'm quite knowledgeable obviously i'm to do with eastpool mine national trust as well so i do know my stuff anyway i'm going to head off because it's raining I'll catch you later. Cheers and go.